Hey, hello, you're with Wolf Gorlick. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security today, looking at hacking back in 1972. That was supposed to be uh, my talk I was given yesterday at uh, my site Lansing, but it was canceled because of snow, which is also because of snow why I'm talking from an office. Because of snow. I'm getting kind of tired of it. But the, uh, the interesting thing I was looking at was, if you think about like 1972 and what was going on, right? Like Nixon and Watergate. Um, you know, things, shows like MASH were on, right? They'd just come out. It was a crazy, crazy time. The other thing I found in 1972 was a pen test report, one of the initial pen tests, if not the initial pen test, from a guy named James Anderson that detailed why we pen test. And the tip for you is we've been pen testing the exact same reasons for 45 years, <laughs> right? So we're doing it out. 45 years. 45 years we've been looking at, hey, can we break in? Can we demonstrate that the system isn't effective? And can we use a demonstration to get investment to increase our security? 45 years. Uh, I think by now, mission accomplished maybe? Most of us know, yes, we can break in. And most of us, of course, now are getting uh, the resources we need to implement security controls. There's, there's a growing awareness of uh, the risk that's out there and due to high level breaches and everything else. So we were like, yeah, we get it. You can, you can break in. So where does that leave us for pen testing? Where does that leave us for the next 45 years? Well, one of the things I've been thinking about, one of the things I've been doing with my red team, well, actually they've been doing and I've been watching, um, is, uh, is controls based testing, right? Is this idea of rather than build on a weakness, show me where I'm weak and how to improve it. Rather than build on a weakness, build on a strength. Here's where I think I'm strong. Let me test that strength and let me make that strength even stronger. Build on a strength and build a good defensive system. Instead of saying, hey, show me where I fail, say, hey, show me where I think I'm strong and where I might not be as strong as I think I am. Show me what defenses I have and tell me that they're actually working. Show me that the money that we've now invested because of the pen tests that have been happening for the past 45 years is actually working. I love this idea of doing test this way, right? It's sort of like test-driven development in the software development world where you have your test, you build a control, verify it, and then you iterate. Same exact concept with security. Have your test, build your control, and test and test and test with the pen testers. Now, what that still means is regular pen tests will get in the bag as always going to get in. It still means that breaches probably will happen, but hopefully what it does mean is when the breach happens, it's not because we thought we had a control when we didn't. It's not because we thought we were safe in, or strong in an area, and it turns out we weren't. As a matter of fact, that's oftentimes what hurts the most, right? Because you've invested, you think you're good, you've strengthened the control, you built policies and procedures, you did all this stuff, and the bad guy's still getting through it? That hurts. It hurts me deep. So that's my thought at the moment. What do you think? Have you seen some good penetration testing um, around controls? Or better yet, where do you think it's going to go in the next 45 years? Comment social media. Hit me up.